Hi, this is Wigakado. Today, I am making a metal lighter on Nomad Sculpt. I will be showing you how I make it from modeling to finally rendering. Alright, let's get started. Starting with a rectangle box, adjust the right shape for the lighter. Using the remesh method to make the bevel edges, just keep remesh at a low resolution and bring it higher a few times like so. After I am happy with the shape, I trim it and remesh it for a better resolution. To maintain the sharp edges, I check this box to remesh. For the lip part, I trim a curve shape on the top part and remesh it for the bevel edges. Alright, let's focus on another component. Duplicate the case and select the top area. Resize and pull it out to create the inside case shape. Then trim the top part and resize it like so. I add a cylinder. Resize and select the side area to extend it. Add another cylinder for the wheel. In a similar way used to create the tube section. For the wheel side part, I carefully add a cylinder and a box to fit the thickness. Then I trim the box to create the angle shape. Combine them together and mirror it to the other side. Add a sphere for the joint. Create the cam by using the trimming method again. For the cam joint, create a box and select an angle area to resize and pull it out to match the shape. And invert the selection to resize it like so. I trim out the area I don't want, along with the bottom part. Use the trim tool to create the curve shape. Turn to the side view for trimming the gap in between. And remesh a better resolution. Add a sphere for the joint. Create little details for the stopper by using the trim tool again. Now, I am working on the fireplace section. I remesh the cylinder which I have made before. Use the move tool to create the curve shape on the bottom part. Mask the top area and split it on shell action. Then, extend the top part for trimming out the unwanted selection. This way, I can have sharp edges. For the middle part 1 have a gap between the wheel and I don't want to trim out the whole object. So I select the trimming selection to avoid this from happening. I use cylinders to trim these holes like so. I add a sphere and resize to trim the hole in the bottom part. Then I combine another object to create it as a hole. To fix the little mark on the side, I simply using the smooth tool and remesh a lower resolution. Add a cylinder for the eyelet. This time, I reduce the division X to 6 to create a hexagon shape for it. The wick is using 4 basic cylinders for the base. I reduce the division Y to 1 and select the top face to twist it at 20 degrees.
Then, I keep duplicated and step on until I get the right height I want. I want to make more details on the wheel. So, I increase the topology and use the mirror tool to create a pattern. Just enable the mirror and change the radial Y to 32 and set the method to local. Then crease it like so. I also want to add some texts on the bottom of the case for details. I duplicate the case tip it upside down for trimming the bottom gap. I use the stamp tool for the text. I select the alpha to my pre-make an image. I go to the falloff section, choose custom and create the curve like so. It depends on how deep you want to make it, higher or lower. In my case, I just need a little bit depth. You can see the resolution is too low, so I subdivide it two times. Much better now. I also make the shell case by using the previous method. Mask the top area and split it on shell action. The lip also needs to be a shell. I set the lip's pivot point to the side to prepare the rotation to open it. Create a cylinder for the hinges and turn on the hole button. Duplicate another two cylinders to the side and mirror it like so. Add another cylinder for the hinge pin. And then add a box to create the sheet inside the lip. Cut it by using another box. Remesh it to a lower resolution and trim it out for the sharp edges. I use the previous method to trim the area I want. Now, the model is finished. Let's move on to the painting. I choose the default metal material on the Nomad and I just change the colors for different parts. It is quite straightforward to fill all of the parts. The wick is using a plain white color on the base and I paint a black color to make the burnt feeling like so. After the overall is done, I want the lighter to have more character, so I create a scratch surface by changing the image. For the fire, add a sphere and resize it to fit the fireplace area. Then select the top part and blur the selection for a smooth transition like so. Pull it out and resize it to a fire shape. Then fill in some fire colors. Change the material to additive mode. Use smudge tool to blending all the colors naturally. I also turn on the post process and play around with those effects to make the picture really come to life. I was really happy with the result and here you have it. A sexy metal lighter.
Thanks for watching. If you are interested in this topic, please consider to subscribe for more related videos. Alright, I will see you in the next video.